You know that feeling when you prove someone wrong? It's pretty nice, right? Well, there's a place in Plano dedicated to that cause, and the guys you're about to meet, well, they are pretty impressive. Here's Teresa Woodard. Not a gamer? Well, I'm not either. But don't prejudge what this story is about. Yes, there's a game called To Catch a Monkey. <laughs> so To Catch a Monkey is about uh, monkeys that have escaped. But let's focus on the people who built it. All the gamers are getting interested and just, man, it's really been a huge impact. Kyle is 27. Really trying to get into that extra detail. He designed the poster promoting this game. So this is the main menu of To Catch a Monkey. Tyler is 29. <laughs> He created art for the game. I designed the, the title, the buttons. The animation, the sound effects, the coding, the programming, the entire game was designed and produced at a studio in Plano. Hello there. How are you doing? Where the entire team Pretty good. is on the autism spectrum. And they show the world, look, I am a little different, but I'm not less. I am really somebody that can do just exactly what you could do. It's called nonpareil, which means unique, unrivaled, unmatched. People with autism who have aged out of public schools learn impressive technical skills here. During 10 years in operation, they've produced a lot of games. But to catch a monkey is the first game to catch big name attention. Yeah, we were so impressed. This is the limited edition Xbox One controller that is being sold at GameStop stores right now. GameStop is distributing it. And when people buy this special controller, some of the proceeds go to Nonpareil, where people prove differences don't matter. I might be like everyone else, but I was born to be like this. I was gifted with this, and it's pretty much a blessing for me, so I just, I'm just trying to be like just an autistic guy, just trying to make a difference in the world and just really trying to be strong. I felt like I was from another planet for a large chunk of my life. But uh, that is a sentiment I hear echoed a lot in a lot of other similar people. But you don't feel that way anymore? No, I still feel unique, but I realize that this world needs very different people for very different reasons. But they all came from here and they're all needed here. I guess this is about a game, the game of life, and they win. In Plano, I'm Teresa Woodard. Yeah, you know, there is a huge demand for what Nonpareil does, so much so they've expanded to Houston and they're about to open locations in Austin and Florida as well.